guys, so today I'm going to be filming a quick little tutorial for a pretty basic everyday eye makeup look that I've been wearing a lot lately. I've been really loving it, especially for summer approaching us. Um, it's been very nice and warm here in North Carolina. Um, and with a few days mixed in here and there where it's rainy or cold all of a sudden randomly, but it, otherwise it's been pretty nice and I'm really into the summer kind of bronzy eye look. Um, but I also wanted to show you what I'm wearing today um, on my and I'm actually not wearing anything on my eyes. I just have mascara on and I just really played up my face with my bronzer and a highlight um, and just contouring just a little bit, um, filling in the brows and just a nice kind of nudish kind of, um, it kind of looks pink on camera but it's really not a pink lip gloss. It's really more of a nuded col nude color. But I um, really love it, and I'm not wearing any lipstick underneath of it, so it has really great pigmentation. I'll show you what I'm wearing on my face and on my lips in just a few minutes here. Um, but this look is a great way to kind of start your day off, and then if you want to take it up a notch for night, like say you're going out to dinner, it's the weekend, and you just kind of want to do something a little bit more um, smoky and sexy. Um, but also, you can wear the same eye makeup look that I'm going to show you, um, during the day as well because I've been wearing it during the day. Um, I usually opt out of wearing a wings liner when I do this look during the day and then at night sometimes I'll just play it up with some wing liner um, or sometimes during the day if, just depending on how I'm feeling. Um, but what you're going to need, I like hair on my lip, on my cat, loving on my kitties, get hair in my lips, gloss is not cute. Um, so basically um, I'm just going to use what I have on. I'm not going to take off all my makeup and start over. I have mascara on, obviously, um, but I'm just going to show you guys what I do over top of um, a bare eyelid <laughs> with mascara. Um, but let me show you guys what I use on my face first. Um, I feel like I'm going out of order. I haven't filmed a video in quite some time, so I'm a little bit out of sorts here. Um, so on my face, I decided to use the Rimmel. This is really, really dirty. It's not really picking up on camera, but it's really dirty, but it's the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, Liquid Mousse Foundation in the color 103 True Ivory. Um, it's great for people who have oily skin, who get really shiny during the day. It's supposed to keep you nice and matte. I, on the other hand, am not an oily girl. I usually tend to be normal to dry. Um, I don't usually get oily. Every now and then I feel like I get a little bit oily just in the typical places like the T-zone. Um, but I really still like this. Even being that I have more dry normal skin, I really do like this product as well. So I think that it's pretty versatile. I don't think that you have to be an oily person to be able to wear this. Um, if you like a more matte look to your foundation, then this is definitely something you should go for. Um, even when I wear like a more dewy um, finished foundation, or a foundation with a more dewy finish, um, I tend to still set it with a powder because I don't like the feeling of like rubbing off my foundation or it feeling kind of wet or tacky like I just want it to feel smooth and, and like set into place so I usually always set it with powder anyways um but I really love this it comes in a the packaging's not bad um it does come out kind of like a mousse um so it's thick but what I actually did this morning was I did put on my moisturizer um which I use the L'Oreal I don't have it sitting next to me but it's the L'Oreal Collagen it's in like a uh, purple bottle. It's got like a little um, pump at the top that you can pump out your moisturizer. And it's got an SPF in it so it protects your skin from the sun, which is great because we definitely want to keep our skin looking young and fresh and elastic. And we definitely want to replace the collagen that we lose over time with age. Um, so I put that on first. And then I actually pump, put a little bit of this on my hand, just the back of my hand right here is usually where I put it. And I pumped a little bit of my moisturizer and then I took my dampened beauty blender and I just kind of mixed it together and then applied it to my skin because I wanted a little extra moisturizer going in when I was blending out this foundation. Um, the best way for me with blending this out, I feel like, especially being that I'm not oily, I don't have oily skin, um, just to kind of give a little bit of, um, like not a slippery surface, but just something kind of smooth and, and you know, just having that good base is really important for blending out more matte or like a thicker cream foundation. Um, so I like to use the, the Beauty Blender. I think that's the best way to blend this foundation out. But enough about that. Um, so I applied this. Um, I don't have my concealer sitting next to me, but I also use my MAC um, Select Cover Up Concealer. It's in like a little tube. Um, and I put that all over my under eyes and over my eyelids, and then I set my eyelids and my uh, under eyes with my concealer uh, with a translucent powder by MAC. Um, it's the Prep and Prime Translucent Setting Powder. 
Um, then I went in with my Hoola Benefit bronzer and I just kind of contoured a little bit here as you can see and blended it out and then I also just did a little bit on the forehead, a little on the sides of the nose, a little bit under the jawline and chin and just kind of blended it out with a fluffy brush just to make sure it wasn't like super harsh because I didn't want a really super strong contour but I wanted to see some definition to my cheekbones and um, then I took my Bi Brown Shimmer Brick Highlight in beige and I got this based off of Jaclyn Hill's recommendation. I'd always seen the Shimmer Bricks, like they've been out for a really long time and they've come out with different colors and everything. Um, and they, I always thought they're kind of expensive and I didn't really know if I would use it and everything. But after seeing Jaclyn Hill's highlight, like her cheeks were glowing like intensely and it was amazing and gorgeous and flawless. And I was like, I have to get this Shimmer Brick. So I had a hard time tracking it down. Um, I had to actually go to a Bobbi Brown counter to get this because Sephora didn't have this particular color in the Shimmer Brick. They had some other colors that were equally as gorgeous, but I really wanted this beige one because it gives a really pretty bronzy highlight look depending on what colors you use. Um, you could choose to stick to the top lighter colors or you can go down and get more bronzy. But I usually take an angled brush. This is an old, really old Benefit brush. Um, it's just an angled. I really need to clean this. But I just kind of go through and swirl it through all of the colors and then just go and get those cheekbones and go like that and kind of a C shape like that. And then a little bit down the bridge of the nose. I always put a little bit on the forehead, a little keep his bow. And you can also do like a little bit on the chin. So it just gives a nice highlighted glowy look. And you can really see the highlight right there in this lighting. And it's just so pretty. I love it. And it's not too intense. And it is, I think it would come with any skin tone for sure. Um, and even on those darker skin tones, I think it would look super natural and gorgeous just to give a little bit of a sheen to those cheekbones and just really enhance them and bring them out. Um, after that, um, I just put on some mascara and I did my eyebrows and today I just really just wasn't feeling the whole, um, intense eyebrow. Like, I just went in with a, um, brush by Sigma. It's a flat definer. I'll show you guys. I will try to show you guys if I can find it in here. I want my brushes in like a bag so I can have them. So yes, this is the E. Uh, what is it? The E15 flat definer. I used that and I went in with um, Naked Base Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I went into two different colors. I went into Naked Two and Faint. So this color and this color, you can tell I use this one a lot, and it is um, pretty much gone. And then that one's just a little bit warmer with a little bit more like red undertones. Um, and then I just take my old Anastasia Brow Wiz, the spilly end of it, and I just kind of groom them. That one looks kind of wonky right there. I don't know why. Um, and after I fill them in, kind of outline them and all that good stuff, I actually recently got a new brow product by NYX. It's the eyebrow shaper and it's a wax pencil. It's just clear like that. You can put it on before you fill in your brows or after. I've done both. Um, I actually did it today after I had applied. So I could kind of hold everything in place. But you just kind of go and go over your brow shape. And just kind of... I don't know why. I feel like the shape is funky right there. Like I need to tweeze something. I don't really know. I haven't really figured that out. Um, but yeah, so that's another product that I'm liking so far. Um, and then sometimes when I'm going for a more natural eye look, like when I'm not putting any eyeshadow on, I will take a, um, nude eyeliner pencil, like this one from Rimmel. Um, it's a scandalized coal pencil and it's in a nude color. So I'll just line that lower waterline right here. And you can see just a little bit of a difference. Um, it just kind of, I didn't really put a whole lot on because I can't really see what I'm doing this far away. So see, it just kind of brightens and opens up this eye and gives you a more like awake look. And I try to be gentle when I pull the skin down below the eye because it is delicate and you don't want to be causing more wrinkles and all that stuff. So um, I still have hair in my stick uh, or lip gloss but anyways so I like to do that a lot 
The mascara I'm wearing today is a new mascara by um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I've tried the other voluminous one um, by L'Oreal in the gold package or gold tube. Uh, I couldn't find it this time, but I really wanted to try this one. I've been using the L'Oreal Miss Manga forever, and I just wanted to try something a little different. And I do like this. Um, I had to put two coats on versus Miss Manga. I can put one coat on and, and really get the results I want. But um, I'm, this is growing on me, so I like it. So I put this on, and then I also put on this new Butter Gloss by NYX that I got in the color Tiramisu. So that's what I have on right now. It does kind of have, like, I guess a mauve undertone, so there's kind of pink. But when I initially apply it, I feel like it looks more, um, here it has swatches on my hand. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize it was, a, it, to me it looks more nude, but it does kind of actually have a little bit of a pink tint to it. Um, so I like it because it gives good pigmentation. I can just throw this on. I don't have to put a lipstick and a lip liner on. I can, I feel like I can just put this on and go. So I like that. Um, for the eyes, um, just to kind of get a nice bronzy look, I really love my Urban Decay Naked palette, the original one. It's pretty old. I've had it for, since it really like right when it came out. Um, my mom had to track it down because I wanted it for... Christmas or my birthday or something and she could not find it anywhere. It was like sold out everywhere And then we happened to go into an Ulta one day when I was in Florida visiting them because they lived there in Florida for a couple years um, just outside of Miami and um, My mom found it and she was like here. I'll get it for you. So oh, I think the cats are getting into the bathroom anyways um, so I don't want to get this all in my white hands um, you can see what colors I use the most. I tend to use more like from here on. I also love the color Toast um, or Toasted. And I love Hustle Creek and Gunmetal, but I just don't wear them quite as much as I do the more like neutral colors, um, like the browns and like the pinky kind of, kind of colors and bronzy golds. Um, these are more cool toned, um, starting right, right, even here, kind of starts getting cooler. But I love this palette because you get so many different colors for such a good price, and they give you a really decent amount. Like, it really does last a long time. I've had this thing for years. I forget how many years, but it's been a long time, whenever this came out. Um, so I like to use the color Smog and Half Baked and then a little bit of Dark Horse in the outer corner. So basically these one, two, three colors there. And sometimes I'll take Buck and kind of blend into the crease as well just to blend out Smog. So I mainly put smog on my lid, so I'm going to show you guys what I do. Um, I usually take my finger, but for this video, I'll just go ahead and use a brush. This is just an old little cheapo brush. Um, not even really sure where it's from. I can't remember. I'm just going to take my little mirror here so I can see what I'm doing, y'all. And, um, yeah. So just go ahead and apply this all over your lid. I typically don't wear super like dark smoky colors on my lid, but I just love this color so much. I mean, I love bronzy colors, and any kind of warm browns are just my favorite. Um, I think they're playing with a cap from my dry shampoo bottle, or my dry shampoo spray bottle, whatever you want to call it. I think they knocked it onto the floor. So, um, again, on the other eye, just go right up to that lash line and make sure you just blend it all across the lid from inner corner to outer corner. Don't really take it up too far into that crease because you really want to keep this focus on your lid. And you can always go back and make it more intense if you want a little bit more intense. Um, and I'm kind of going up in my crease just a tad. And if you mess up, just go back over it with a q-tip or your finger or your foundation brush or something or your beauty blender or whatever you want to do. Um, this makes my eyes look like super brown and kind of goldish color. I have hazel eyes so my eye color will change depending on what my eye makeup is or what I'm wearing or even my hair color. So that's basically what you do first. And we're going to go in and blend out, you know, where it goes into that crease. So it doesn't look like you just put it on and left it. So after that, take a fluffy blending brush. This is the E35. It's wearing off, but it's by Sigma. 
the numbers, like the writing's all wearing off, that's what I mean. So I go in with a little bit of buck, which is right here. And I go in and just windshield wiper motions just to kind of smoke out the line from where I put on, excuse me, the smog. And I don't really have a whole lot of blending to do right now, but I just like to go and kind of blend in between like everything and I'm layering colors or just whatever I'm putting on eyeshadows. So then I'm going to actually take this E25 blending brush by Sigma. It's a little bit more tapered as opposed to this one, which is really fluffy. And I'm going to go into smog again. And I'm just going to emphasize my crease a little bit with it in the outer corner. And usually when I do like a darker color, I tend to wait and do my foundation after because you might get some fallout. You can also put um, some loose powder right underneath here and then just brush it away with a fluffy brush when you're done so you can get rid of any fallout. Or you can also just put a tissue underneath of your eye or whatever. Or wait and do your concealer until after so that way you can cover, you know, wipe it off and then cover it up. Um, so you can like wipe it up with a makeup wipe. And then just go over and do your concealer. So that's that. And then I think I have a little small brush. Maybe not. Nope, I don't. That's all right. That's all right. Let's make it work. Um, so I'm going to go with the same brush I just used into the color Dark Horse, which is the darker brown right here. Um, it has a little bit of shimmer to it as well. Um, and you could stop here and not even do this step and it would still look really good. Um, but I'm just going to tip in that V a little bit, outer V. Just to help give some definition and depth. I normally would film with my actual camera and not on my computer, but for whatever reason, well I can't get a great position for my camera and the tripod so that it picks up right and gets good lighting. But from here where I'm sitting, just the way my computer is and the windows and the light, it just gives really good lighting. So um, I really like it. And I think just a little bit more on this side here to even me out. And then I'll go back and blend with our same fluffy brush. Yeah. Okay. We'll blend, blend, blend. Smoke it out, because we like it nice and smoky. I feel like I've been super, like, congested. I can't figure out. I mean, I feel like I might be getting a cold, but then I'm not really getting sick, but I just feel like I've been more congested lately, which is not fun. Next, I'm going to do the under eye, or the lower lash line. Um, I'm going to take my E15, flat E yes, E15 flat definer brush, and I'm going to go into smog, which we use all over our lid, tap off the excess, and just kind of line that lower lash line, and bring it down a little bit. And you could also skip this step too, like, if you like the look of this without having a little bit more depth and like more smokiness to the lower lash line, leave it like this and you'll be fine. It'll still look good. Um, I just like to have things on my, like some shadow on my lower lash line usually, but I don't always do it. Depends on how I'm feeling, what I'm doing that day. If I'm going to work, I'm going to be working for 12 hours, 12 plus hours. I don't really worry so much about my makeup because I'm getting up so early in the morning I don't really feel like it. Go into Buck and take a pencil brush. This is just an Eco Tools pencil brush. Any pencil brush will do. Um, and you can even use one that's not even as like dense and pointed as this. And 
I was just kind of smoking that lower lash line out can bring that smog down. Like that. And then I like to take, um, I'm going to take the same brush we used for the smog and I'm going to go into the color Half Baked. I know we used the smog on this, but I'm just going to really load up this brush with some Half Baked. And you can skip this step as well if you like the way it's looking. I'm just going to go in the inner corner and just pop this on. Okay, I gotta go see what these cats are doing. This is crazy. Anyways, I am back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, where was I? So yeah, so I just kind of popped the half bake on the inner corner and like just going in slightly on that lid. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara on my bottom lashes and just coat the top just a little bit um, with the carbon black. Again, you could do a liquid liner if you want, or a cream, gel liner, pencil liner, whatever you want for that upper lash line. I'm just choosing to not do that today. I really didn't even feel like putting on all of this smokiness today because I just kind of was feeling the whole natural thing, but I wanted to film a tutorial for you guys, and I've been meaning to film this. And I just keep getting busy with stuff or getting distracted and not getting to it. So then I coat that lower lash line on it. Or recoat for my my case. Just like that. Okay. So that is the finished look, or this is the finished look. Um See if I can get a little bit closer so you guys can see. And yeah, this is kind of like a good sexy summer smoky eye that you can do. Um, it's really easy. Um, you don't have to have the Naked palette to do it. If you have colors that are similar to this, then go for it. Um, any kind of like bronzy gold brown and browns will work. So whatever you have at home, you can make it work. You can make it work with drugstore brand eyeshadows. Don't feel like you have to go and spend a lot of money to get the kind of look that I have right here. Like, you don't have to break the bank to get this look. Um, I think this palette is, it's expensive. I think it's like, 50, I think when my mom got it for me, it might have been a little less expensive. But now I think they're like $51 or $52 for a palette. But when you think about it, you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12 eyeshadows, and they're really decent size. They really last you a long time. They're super pigmented. They're really easy to blend. They're really great. Um, and, you know, if you feel like most of these colors are colors you would wear on an everyday basis, it's totally worth it. So I recommend it, but I know Maybelline has the Nudes palette. I think NYX has, like, a nude eyeshadow palette. So you can get, like, a very affordable eye palette or just eyeshadows in general that are good quality and that are going to be, like, the same kind of colors. So... Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little look. I just really wanted to show you guys, and I'd already done my makeup for the day, and I just left the lid blank and bare, so I could do this for you guys. Um, I hope that you like it, and give it a thumbs up if you do, and let me know if you guys want to see, like, any other particular videos. I'm really trying to make a habit, make a point to film. I've just been so out of my routine of filming and I just haven't always felt like it to be perfectly honest. I've just been really busy and doing other things and um, really focusing on being healthy and fit. And so I've been working out a lot. I've been trying to like meal prep and I've been busy with work and um, just trying to enjoy the beautiful weather and, you know, just doing other things. So I've just been super busy with everything else in life. So, um, I just haven't gotten to sit down and film, and my husband has totally taken over my computer, so <laughs> I haven't really been able to sit and edit and do a video if I even really wanted to, so, um, yeah, so I just felt like this was a good look to do for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys hopefully very soon in my next video.